determine the transfer function of a system using the state model. So let's take a problem. So our problem is we are given the system. This system is a single input and single output system. There is a single input U and single output Y. So for this system, the state variable representation or the state space representation is given to us. And using this state model, we have to determine the transfer function of the system. So let's solve this problem. As we know that the state model in a generalized way it is represented by we have state model as x dot is equals to ax plus bu and y is equals to cx plus du. So if we compare these two equations with these two then x dot is this equals to a is this matrix and then x plus b u then we have y equals to c x plus d u so by comparing these two equations with the given state model we can have the value of the matrices a b c and d so a will be 0 1 minus 12 and minus 8 so these are the values of a b c d matrices we have a as this matrix b as this c as this matrix and because d is not present so it is zero now we know that the transfer function it is given by This is the formula for the transfer function C SI minus A inverse B plus D. Now we have the value of C, A, B and D. So we can just put here the values. We have to calculate this SI minus A inverse. So let us first calculate SI minus A. This is what S multiplied with because A is a 2 cross 2 matrix. So identity matrix here I, it will also be a 2 by 2. So it will be 1, 0, 0, 1, minus A, 0, 1, minus 12, minus 8. So SI minus A, it will be S, then 0, 0, S minus we have 0 1 minus 12 minus 8 so its value will be s minus 1 we have minus minus 12 will be plus 12 and this is s plus 8 so this is s my si minus 8 that is s minus 1 12 and s plus 8 now we have to calculate the si minus a inverse so it will be equal to the adjoint of SI minus A upon determinant of SI minus A. Let us first calculate the determinant. Then determinant of SI minus A will be S into S plus 8 minus of minus 12. So it will be S s plus 8 minus of minus 12 s square plus 8s plus 
to it. This is the determinant. Now adjoint, adjoint of SI minus A will be, you have to just reverse these, uh, uh, these values like S plus 8 will come here, S will come here and also you have to reverse this but with opposite sign. So it will be S plus 8, 1, minus 12 and S. We have just exchanged these. S plus 8 will come to this and S will go to this side. 1 will go come here and 12 will go to this side but with the opposite sign. So 1 will become, uh, minus 1 will become 1 and 12 will become minus 12. This is the adjoint and this is the determinant. So now we can calculate the inverse. So SI minus A inverse will be 1 upon s square plus 8s plus 12. We have just changed the sign of 1 and 12. Okay. So this will be This is the value of the inverse. Now transfer function. Just put the values of all the variables here. C is what? 8 and 1. Then this is our SI minus A inverse. B is 0 and 1 and D is 0. So if we solve this, this 8 multiplied with this, then 1 multiplied with this, 8 with this and 1 with this and then we have 0 and 1. So only this last coefficient will be here. So we will have S plus 8. This will be our transfer function. So our final answer will be this is our answer. So in this problem we have derived the transfer function using the state model of the system. So I hope this problem is clear to you. Thank you.